So overall, it, it works pretty good, I have to say. You know, I like the fact that I can just keep the grinds in there. I, like, yeah, I can keep the grinds, but I can also keep the beans in there. And I don't even have to keep it in the bag anymore. It fills up a pretty good amount of the two-pound bag that I typically buy at Costco. So I make a lot of coffee in the morning. I make about 50 ounces. Uh, I use this nice little thing right here, which is the... I forgot the name. Link will be in the description. But uh, it's a coffee press, about 40 to 50 ounces. And what I do is I make... I have to make 18 cups. So you can see... Uh, this has, let's see, I'll cover this up. Let's see how, this is the number of cups. So I make, actually 18 cups, I'm sorry. I make uh, 40, I think 50 ounces. So, but in order for me to get the 50 ounces that I need, I need to do two more. So I, do, I, I grind it all the way up to 18 first, and then I grind it to two. Now one thing you'll notice about this too is that it has different settings for French press, and then also uh, all the way down to fine for espresso. I always prefer to put it like, not coarse, but definitely like just a little bit right here because I prefer my coffee to be a little bit stronger even though I do get a little bit more grains in there. All right, so let's get these last two in. There you go, so it's pretty fast. Uh, again, one of the other cool things I like about this too, it comes with this little thing up here, which is uh, like a little scooper. I guess it's a ta tablespoon. And then it has a brush at the end, which is this right here, so you can make it clean up. It still, it eventually does become messy because you see you get all this on there. But usually what I do, that's why I have these trays here to cover up my mess. And I can just dump this in there. Uh, one thing I will say, I'll mention sort of like a little mini reveal on this particular uh, French press is that it bubbles a lot. So it's kind of hard to get 50 ounces in this thing. So kind of what I figure it out to do is that you're going to have to sort of take your time otherwise you're going to make a huge mess. So what I'll do is I'll just kind of half pour a little bit in there and I'll just let it sit for a while. Uh, and actually another thing that I'll do, so I use a kind of a soup spoon to, to stir it. Uh, so another thing that I also do is I just, I don't even cover it with, with the French press thing uh, because the bubbles go so high and what I found is that It'll bubble up so much that basically it goes to it ends up being to about this much. So I, I, I lose the ability to make as much coffee in a single batch because what I do is I make my coffee right before I shower. Uh, I'll pour more of this in there. The bubbles have worn down a little bit. And you kind of see the bubbles there and watch. And you're going to be able to see how much it goes down. Sometimes I just don't want, I don't want to, I just want to go upstairs because I live in a two story. And this will actually sink quite a bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour this in here. And I'm just going to let that sit and cover this up. Uh, let me just show you what the French press presser looks like on this. Nice stainless steel, pretty sturdy. I had two glass ones before and they actually end up breaking. I'm not exactly the gentlest with a lot of my the stuff that I have. And with this French press here I just cover it up like that and then wait for the bubbles to go down. Alright so going back to this particular French press the coffee uh, the Mr. Coffee is that it has different settings. I do like this you know if I want to make drip coffee or if I want to make just French press I always like to do the middle like I said before so that way I can increase the the strength of my coffee. Um, it's actually pretty sturdy. I've had it for about four or five months now and I have to say that for 30 bucks, 35 bucks, uh, you really can't go wrong. I've been finding that a lot of these French presses that are like, I mean French presses, uh, coffee grinders that are like this tend to be, uh, you know, 100 bucks or more than double usually. I don't even use this here, but I just use the brush sometimes, I guess. Whereas this one here, which is the, uh, the Hamilton Beach, which I've made a review of before, if you're interested in this, this one's about less than half the price, I think $13 or $15. So I guess if you really want to get a cheaper one, you can get this, especially if you're just, you know, if you if you if you live by yourself or you make coffee for only one person. I make, I make coffee for two people and I make a lot of coffee, you know, because I, I have a big ass coffee thing that I use. So in case you're interested in the Hamilton Beach, there'll be a video review link that you'll see pop up in case you're interested in that. Uh, but then this is the coffee, uh, the Mr. Coffee Grinder. I wish I had the box here somewhere. But if you have any, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment.
Thanks for watching.